our London aid workers are heading into the world's largest refugee camp. This is home to more than 800,000 Rohingya Muslim refugees, escaping persecution in Buddhist-dominated Myanmar. Dr. Ramez Mameni, Genevieve Jones Hernandez, and Sarah Wade have traveled the world helping refugees, but nothing can prepare them for what lies ahead, all of which they capture on camera. I've had a few comments here and there, obviously asking me if I'm doing the right thing, leaving a toddler, um, behind for a period of time, but ultimately he's surrounded by family, friends. I work for charity because I want to help the people who really need it. Their journey begins at the gateway to the camp where newly arrived refugees receive basic aid. What it is that they receive here is a bag with, with a bucket and I guess some, some building essentials. But the Humanitas charity are heading deep into the camp, a two-hour trek where there's no aid to set up a medical centre. Word spreads, help has arrived. The team prioritises women and children. Their mother could not make the trip, so she had to pass her baby on to her other, bigger baby to bring here. The, the baby is 10 and a half days and hasn't been breastfed. There are so many babies, newborns, don't have any food, starving. She was prescribed uh, vitamins, but just for her, not for the baby. Honestly, uh, it's like the baby's, um, yeah, uh, dying. So we've just um, organised for her to go and get referred because she needs to go to a hospital. For that, she needs to have her ID card. They're just in incredible pain with all these sores all over their heads and really dry skin and cracked skin all over their body. So we were, you know, literally just rubbing them down with Vaseline. This is a, a newborn baby. It was born yesterday, and they tied the umbilical cord with just a piece of rope. Today, like, it's been non-stop. And they're shivering, coughing, throwing up. Um, it's, it's just... It's, I don't know. I can't. Seriously. I think we expected to turn up and be working alongside a lot more organizations or volunteers. We've worked within the Syrian refugee crisis and it was full of organizations and volunteers and people there on the ground and I think we expected this to be slightly similar and it isn't. Her pulse is very low. So we're just rushing to the hospital. We got these newly arrived Rohingyas and severe, severe dehydration. There is absolute lack of aid for these people. Every day, more refugees arrive in biblical numbers. All of these people tired, sick, hungry, and yet to reach their final destination in this camp and set up home. After three weeks and around 80 patients a day, it's time to head home. It's not so much as a difficult thing to be here. I think it'll be more of a difficult thing to leave knowing that we're leaving these people in such a dire situation.